Greetings, fellow traveler. It's another beautiful day out here. Just went for a nice walk. And I was reminded by a song, one of my favorite songs. It's been coming into my world as of lately. And it reminds me that I've been waiting for this moment all my life. To simply be who I am, not who the world tells me to be. Now, what does that mean? I mean, I'm holding true to my vision. I'm doing the work that I set out to do. Whether it be writing, whether it be speaking to you, whether it be doing other work on skill sets that I actually spend my private time building. Either way, I'm in a good place. And I wish the same for you. Because you have to realize, when you're working on your vision, all these different forces that come to you, they're working on their vision. Might not be the best to have around you, right? That could be those that are close. That could be strangers. It really doesn't matter. As long as it stays within the realm of your vision, I'll say that. Trust it and then move forward with it. But with certain people, with certain situations, you got to remove that. You have to, like, there's no, there's no way around it. You have to remove that. And then you'll see what happens afterwards. You feel lighter. You feel better. You're stronger. You have more energy. Because you're letting some of this stuff go. And that's really all it is. It's point blank, period. Stay true to yourself by staying true to your vision. If you do not have one, take time. Reflect. Think about what makes your heart sing. Think about what makes you smile inside and outside. Embrace that. Because there's no blueprint. Like, there's no map for you. You create it as you go. That's truthfully, like, that, that's the journey. I'm not going to try to be all extra with it or none of that. That's truthfully all it is. That's the journey. That's what makes you enjoy your life. That's what makes you enjoy whatever process, whatever. It doesn't matter. A while ago, when I say a while, I'm talking about 10, 15 years ago. I struggled with that concept. I thought it was supposed to be roses and bubbles the whole time. No, nah, it's not about that. And it's not about, oh, it's a struggle. It's a hard. None of that. It's simply knowing where you headed. As long as you know where you headed, you good. Because you will receive the messages and you will decipher them accordingly. That's all it is. Whether you call a source, higher power, the universe, God, doesn't matter. You'll receive the messages properly. And even when you attempt to articulate it in the way that you receive it to other people, they not going to understand it because it's not their vision. It's all right. Yeah, I got to the point I thought I was losing my mind. I thought I was really crazy for thinking the way I was thinking. But acting on what I deciphered in the message never failed me. It never failed me. Even when I thought I was confronting failure, I was truthfully learning in the way that I needed to be taught. <sighs> Game changer. Game changer. I share this with you because hopefully something about this resonates with you. If not, let God speed. I love to hear what you think in the comments. Let me know. Until next time. Be blessed.